parents, if there's a video game system in your home, your kid may have already mentioned Fortnite or NBA 2K. New data from the World Health Organization says you should control the time your child spends in the gaming world. 41 NBC's Tanya Motorzitski spoke with a therapist about how gaming addiction affects your child's development. Earlier this year, the World Health Organization added gaming to the list of possible addictions. Your kids may be tuned in somewhere in a virtual realm, but in reality, parts of their development are turning off due to gaming addictions. Just go against random people and that just makes it fun and, you, and all you gotta do is just win. They just see an activity they can do and that they're interested in. Gaming addiction is uh, just like any other addiction where you devote too much energy or time to one particular thing. In younger kids' rooms, like eight-year-old Jeremiah Clark, toys haven't filled his room since he was in kindergarten. The third grader rather get lost in a virtual world is getting in the way of spending time with friends and they'll say the time they're they're with their friends in the game but that's an artificial environment coliseum medical center's licensed marriage and family therapist bruce khan says when children don't have face-to-face -face interaction it has an impact on their development whatever we do in the world to manage our stress to cope um, we need to face the, the stressors in life. Gaming sort of uh, circumvents that, and you, you really emotionally stop developing because all of your development is happening around feeling good in that moment. While playing video games, you're trying to accomplish a task by yourself to move up levels. Khan says completing tasks is meaningful, but there's more to it. As parents, he says they need to intervene. So. Uh, symptoms, you'll see irritability, you'll see sort of the rationalizations, all the excuses. Mom of four, Chantel McCrary, says she knows she can't control what her kids do behind her back, but under her roof, she does. I take the time out to monitor what my kids play and listen to um, because I know it's stuff out here that, you know, can be hypnotism and they don't know it. Because as kids hit teenage years, Khan says that's when they start to identify themselves. They do so by interacting in the hallways at school or the cafeteria. If you're at home gaming, you're not accomplishing that task. Okay. Reporting in Macon, Tani Motorzitski. Khan says playing the game before you go to bed interferes with going to sleep because after a while, it's like sunlight. He adds limiting uh, playing time to weekends so it doesn't affect your schoolwork or try to limit them to an hour or so a day. Shelby. All righty. Thank you, Tanya. Good to know. Also, denial and irritability are some of the symptoms of gaming addiction. Khan recommends monitoring their interactions.